Moscow is reeling from what is believed to be the deadliest attack in Russia in decades. Russia's investigative commu committee rather, says that over 100 people were killed after several mass gunmen stormed a crowded concert venue yesterday. Moscow residents are flooding to blood donation centers this morning in hopes of helping the victims of yesterday's attack. People across Russia and other parts of the world are laying flowers at makeshift memorials in honor of those killed. Militant group ISIS has claimed responsibility for the ambush. Russian President Vladimir Putin addressed the nation this morning, promising to punish any and everyone who had hands in the attack. CBC's Dominic Vlaitis has the story. In his address to the nation, Putin described last night's attack as a barbaric terrorist act and one, he said, that would not divide the Russian people. The four gunmen responsible, he confirmed, have all been arrested, adding those responsible for backing them and ordering the attack uh, would be punished, whoever they are. Now, in his statement, Putin went on to claim that the attackers had tried to escape to neighboring Ukraine and that preliminary information showed that uh, some there had made preparations to get them across the border. Now, earlier today, Kyiv described claims that it was involved as absurd. Meanwhile, and prior to Putin's uh, address, we heard from the Russian Investigative Committee. And as well as giving an update on the number of those killed, which we're told included three children, it said the attackers used flammable liquid to set fire to sections of the concert hall last night, that automatic weapons were used in the attack, and that the ammunition left behind at the scene is now undergoing ballistic, genetic and fingerprint examination. Now, ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack. The United States says that claim is credible. And earlier this month, the White House said it had warned Russia of a potential attack in Moscow, that extremists had imminent plans to target large gatherings in the city, including concerts. And as a result, the US State Department advised Americans there to stay away from large gatherings. But those warnings appear to have been dismissed by Russian officials, with Putin even describing them as open blackmail and an attempt to scare and destabilize Russian society. Security in Russia has, as you would imagine, now been tightened in response to the attack, Russia's worst in 20 years. Tomorrow, a day of mourning will be observed to remember the scores of people who were killed and injured. Dominic Velitis, CBC News, London.